barefaced. I'm going to be doing my eyeliner and my eyebrows today. I made a video of my eyebrows. It's one of my very first videos, actually. I mean, not much has changed, but I'm just going to make an updated version. So I'm going to get started. I have this duo brush. It's angled, and then it has a spoolie on this side. And I'm just going to brush my hair. I have a lot of imperfections, well imperfections, I would say on my eyebrows, like this right here. That spot is like really sparse for some reason. I think I cut it too much or accidentally plucked something, but it just looks so bad when there's nothing on it. I'm also using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. I've been using this one for years. It's pretty much empty as you can tell. It's really empty, but there's still quite a bit in there, so I haven't gotten a new one. And I'm kind of just trying to shape out the brush. And once I have enough product, I I start on the top or the bottom, whatever I feel like. I always start right about here. And just draw my first initial line. Fix that bald spot, you know what I mean? And I try to make it as perfect as possible and just brush whatever's left up front. What I like about the pomade is that it does pick up a lot of product so you can kind of go about your eyebrows in a natural way if you want with it by using a different, I guess, technique than this one. but. You can also go about it pretty dramatic. I don't know, I'd say mine's like a little in between. Is I like to show the hair still. Some people can't tell, but I don't know, if you do makeup, you kind of know how nice it is to see, you know, at least the front part of your hair is, and the rest is just like a sculpted brow. And I'm just tracing out the rest of that arch. Carefully. I bring it in once I kind of trace out the rest because like I said I want this inner corner to be the most natural it can but I still want there to be something there So I think my brows filled in to my liking. I don't really brush the rest of the brow, I just kind of leave it. Because the one thing I want to be blended and smooth is in there. So now that I'm done filling in my eyebrow, I'm taking Milani Concealer and Foundation in one. And it's a thicker consistency concealer foundation. I'm using this Morphe concealer brush. And I'm using that to line I try to be as precise as possible because I feel like this part really makes the brow. Sometimes it takes tracing over the brow, like multiple times as you can see. Okay. And from there, once I finish lining, just blend it down, but I'm really careful not to like smudge the line that I just made. Cool. Since I'm going to be going this way with this angle, I put the product on that angle. And I'll rub the excess off above my eyebrow first. 
so that way I don't go in like straight away that close with that much product because you're going to ruin your eyebrow. And I'll just start tracing a little. Because I think the concealer really makes, helps create the arch of that brow. And I really make sure to touch up that point at the end because for me that point is everything and I'll run my finger over everything not super hard but I feel like fingers blend really well so it kind of just marries everything together so I literally just use any hair gel or brow gel but right now I'm using hair gel I'm using the tea tree styling wax from Ulta I add some of that to my spoolie like a little bit I don't know if you can see and then I'll just brush upward because I like to go with the flow of the hairs. Um, so like brush upward in the front. I need to trim my brows a little bit, um, but I'm not gonna. And then I just run it all across the rest of the brow because it kind of sets, it sets the hairs and just keeps everything looking uniform and nice. I'm putting the same concealer foundation onto my eyelid with a beauty blender. Now I'm taking Morphe Loose Setting Powder. It's translucent and I'm putting it everywhere. I have a good base to start doing eyeliner. For my eyeliner, I like to use the e.l.f. felt tip liner. It's just as traditional as it gets this shit is two dollars like one or two dollars at the store um, and it's like one of the easiest applicators and it's cruelty free so is Milani and so is Anastasia Beverly Hills but just remember that it takes patience I've had years of practice I guess with this so it's not like it comes naturally to me but I start on the outside and I create that outer flick I like to kind of curve it a little bit Like that. So I have my first initial swipe and I can add on to it and make it longer a little bit later. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more product on it and then connect from here to the center. Like so. It's not the most perfect thing in the world yet, but we build. So from here, I'll just flick it out a little bit longer so it's a little more precise. And then I'm gonna start to trace into the inner corner. And I get as close to this lash line as possible. And as straight as possible. Do you see right there how it kind of like raises? But when I have my eyes resting, you can't see that. So usually I'm kind of fine with things like that. And then I will fill it in. But yeah, what I like about this tip is it's so easy to do like detail work. Before I put on mascara, I'm gonna get the glue started for my lashes. I have this faux mink, like I said, faux mink pair of lashes that I'm gonna be putting on after the mascara. I like to set it right now on the end, like so. Push that on and then push it across my lash. Then finally attach that front half and then just pat it, you know, into place. 
So this is what they look like on, which is nice. They're pretty. Um, but as you can see, there's still glue and stuff that needs to be covered. So once it's dry, I like to go over with eyeliner again so that way that shit doesn't show. So I'll take my eyeliner carefully and just run it across there, touch up the inside a little bit. Think careful, because it does get on your lashes. Just enough to help the lash, the lower lashes match the upper lashes a little bit. Just make them long and a little more defined, pretty much. And that's it. That's my eyebrow and eyeliner routine. So I'll show you before. Yikes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, my brows are pretty sparse, but there's hair there before. I love the way the eyeliner shapes my eye because that's what I like about makeup is that it's just enhancing like it's kind of wild what makeup can do it brings out a lot of emotion expression in the face And something optional though you can also do, um, the tip has some slight imperfections so if that's something that really bothers me, sometimes it doesn't, I'll fix it with a, like a tiny bit of concealer. Yeah, and I'll just carve it out. That is it for my eyeliner and eyebrow tutorial. Definitely a big difference from the other side. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did enjoy it, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and let me know if there's anything specific you want to see because I don't know if you guys want to see makeup stuff or not. I do like doing it, but just, yeah, I guess let me know. And, yeah, I hope to see you guys next time on my channel. Stay positive. Bye.